Philadelphia Eagles Super Bowl champion and Wilmington native Wendell Smallwood brought the Wilmington community together for a weekend full of events that's going to benefit our city youth. We wanted to do something for the city, do something for the community, just to give kids hope. And then, you know, I, I was like, I don't just want to do anything for no reason. I wanted to do a purpose. And the purpose was we wanted to donate some money to the Parks and Rec. They just redid a park over at Eden Park, a park that's been here for years and a, a park that I was raised on. And I know I've been through Parks and Rec all my life. So I was like, hey, I wanted to do something to give back to them. And one thing they need over there is a scoreboard. So I was like, hey, let's raise money for their scoreboard. So we came over this weekend. With five different events held during the Wendell Smallwood weekend, Smallwood was able to present a check for $15,000 for the new scoreboard at Eden Park. I think it's major, you know, uh, being from Delaware is a huge accomplishment to have somebody as accomplished as uh, Mr. Smallwood here in the city. And then, you know, knowing also that every year it's for a good cause, you know, so I heard this year they were raising money for a scoreboard over at Eden Park. Um, and so, you know, those are the kinds of things that have a real meaningful difference uh, for the city of Wilmington uh, beyond just having a scoreboard, you know, down to the psychology of the kids and what they see and the feeling, you know, that they have. And then, you know, him being such an aspirational figure, you know, this is a tough city and it's a tough city to make it out of as well. So for somebody of his stature to come back and do something very good for the community is, you know, is major. Although Wilmington may be a tough city to make it out of, Smallwood wanted to show our young people that any kid in Wilmington with the dream of becoming an NFL player can definitely make that dream become a reality. I grew up right here and it was just, it's, it's a crazy city and the thing that's most, now that I look back on it is, when I was young I really didn't meet too many football players, basketball players, or even guys who, who were successful in life and I never got to be around it. So. All the time growing up, it was like a dream to me. The NFL was a dream, the NBA was a dream. It was like something that you just dreamt about that couldn't happen. And then when I got out of here and I started going, I got in college and I started seeing people around me doing certain things. And I'm like, hey, this is a reality. And that's the thing I want to bring back to the city. And when I come here and people being able to touch me, kids being able to be around me and notice me. And it's funny because sometimes the kids will be like, man, you ain't nobody. You're not that big. You're not that tall. And I'm like, yeah, I'm a regular guy just like you. So just being able to come back and be a reality to these kids and get them something to hold on to is very important to me. Smallwood, who was drafted by the Eagles in 2016, regularly gives back to his hometown from helping single moms during the holidays to supporting a Coded by Kids program at Kingswood Community Center to offering a free football camp in partnership with Mayor Mike Przicki. For parents, the Wendell Smallwood football camp gave their kids more than just something to do. I actually love the camp. I think it's really good. I am a single mother, so to have all the positive male influences around him and you know, give him that extra push to do better and go hard, it's, it's really good. This is what we need actually in today's world. We need mentors and guys and girls to step up and give back, to give the youth an object and someone to look forward to growing up to. Uh, I think it's a great thing, especially uh, having it here at such a great facility, so this is perfect. There were other Eagles players in attendance for the special weekend. Both adults and children were able to speak to the Super Bowl champions, get their autographs, and witness what genuine teamwork looks like. I mean, I feel like it's a dope experience. I mean, not a lot of kids are able to just pay a whole bunch of money to be able to train with, with the top-notch guys, and for Wendell to be able to to, to do this camp for free and, and at his hometown, it's, it's a great thing. And I'm, I'm happy I could be a part of this experience with him. All weekend long, both adults and children got the opportunity to speak with Smallwood. His humble spirit and laid back personality left each attendee feeling great about being a part of his weekend. I think with, uh, what's going on this weekend is very, very important that, you know, uh, what Wendell is doing, bringing light to the city. Uh, so many things that Wumpton has to offer, you know, but with him shedding his, uh, the light from his, uh, um, just stardom. Um, this is very important because it gives other kids and other people aspirations to want to be from Delaware and, you know, what he's doing, we just, uh, I appreciate it as, you know, as an entrepreneur and, you know, the, the city is, is on some, uh, on some great things, so I'm excited. Anything that's nonprofit or a fundraiser, I always want to be a part of. I want to give back to the community as much as I can, and I just hope that I leave a lasting impression. With football being the sport that saved Smallwood's life, he has made the commitment to offer the Wendell Smallwood Weekend as a year-round event. 
this is my second camp actually. I did one last year. I did three camps in two weeks. I did three camps in two weeks. So I want to do this every year and I want it to grow and continue to grow and be something that the city looks forward to every year. For those who think that Wilmington's old slogan, a place to be somebody, doesn't still have meaning, think again. To Super Bowl champion Wendell Smallwood, the city of Wilmington is that and more. Um, I've been everywhere, I've traveled everywhere, and I think I still think there's no other state that means important, more important to me than Delaware. I love it here. This is home. This is a place I always come back to. I want to live here for the rest of my life. And it's, no, it's, no, it's nobody like us around here, so this is my place, this is my home, and I ain't going nowhere. It's safe to say that Smallwood accomplished his mission for the weekend, which was to promote social impact and to create community entertainment for his city. Between socializing with friends and family and donating $15,000 for Eden Park scoreboard, Smallwood will always be looked at as a hero for local youth. Reporting in Wilmington, Delaware, Yesenia Tavares, 22 News. I just want to thank everybody for continuing to support me. Without the fans, I'm nothing. And without this home crowd, I'm nothing. So I thank everyone, and I hopefully we get to enjoy the weekend, and I'll see everybody next year, too.